What is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I'm going to be killing the Whisperer 1000 times. We are starting at 102 kill count and we'll be ending the video at 1102 kill count. My last upload for you all was 11 days ago and that is because the Whisperer grind took exactly that. 11 days. I finished this one last night around 1 o'clock in the morning and I promised myself as soon as I'd wake up i would start editing this video and get it out for you guys and to start the video off right here we go with our first drop this is the awakener's orb current price shown here is 2.5 mil i do believe that it peaked around 3.5 during the making of this video but anytime you see that drop just imagine a coin stack of 2.7 million that is what i ended up selling them all for and it is a common drop honestly one in 34 and it's more common to get the awakener's orb from the whisperer compared to all of the other desert treasure 2 bosses so that's something important to keep in mind but we have other awesome drops like 105 noted battle staffs and something to note is that that battle staff drop was actually a perfect kill which means originally if I took a little bit of damage it would have been 70 battle staffs but since I defeated the boss perfectly I earned 50% more loot from the standard drop table so it's like a, an extra 35 battle staffs on top of the 70. Here we are just 100 kills into the video and honestly it was at this point that I really was trying for perfect kills every single single time. I was still bringing food and I was definitely still making mistakes. I would say around kill count 300 is when I really started to perfect this boss. Here we have an untradeable drop. Not the most exciting, just the shadow quartz. One in 218 to receive this. I already had a couple of them in the bank, so it's not a collection log, but I'll take it. And following that, 933 soul runes. If you get a perfect kill, you can actually get up to 1400 soul runes in a single drop. And here we have seven unnoted dragon plate skirts. One 1.1 mil just from that one drop and again if it would have been a perfect kill I would have received 10 instead of 7 but I think you guys get the point now. Almost 150 kills into the grind so far and ladies and gentlemen Bellator Vestige coming in. I had actually no idea what this was so my reaction was very delayed here but this ladies and gentlemen is used to create the Bellator ring. What a cool name and honestly what a cool ring. I'm just too cheap to use this ring to uh, you know enhance my combat, but I'm definitely going to be selling it right away. I had to talk to Peer the Seer, and then I had to learn how to create this ring, but it only takes three chromium ingots, and then 500 blood runes, and there you go. You essentially can use it on the furnace, and uh, with a ring mold, you can create this ring right away. And I did forget to mention, you do have to use a chisel on a warrior ring as well. The first ring did sell for an astounding 174 mil, and we're only like 15% into this video, so we have a lot more kills to go and a lot more profit to make. It really does seem to me that the Whisperer has the best drop table for normal drops as well as the best drop table for rare drops and maybe that's because it's looked at as the most challenging Desert Treasure 2 boss out of all of them. But I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I've killed a hundred of every single boss and no doubt about it, uh, this is definitely the easiest one in my opinion. I was uh, recently killing Vardorvis last night and I still haven't gotten the hang of it even after a hundred kills but the Whisperer, I feel like I mastered almost right away, and I just absolutely love this boss. I think I'd rather kill 10,000 Whisperer than 1,000 of all the other bosses, but that's just me personally. I mean, some bosses you just really get into, and other bosses, not so much. Just receiving a ton of Awakener's Orbs. Uh, I think I got well over 25 just in this loot video, so there's so many to see, and here we are charging our Sang Staff for the first time with another 25,000 Blood Runes to get 8,300 charges. As you can see here on screen, 200 kills into the video, they did update the Whisperer to now drop Clue Scrolls. So I guess we'll be doing some Clue Scrolls now, starting, uh, you know... 200 kills in. That's not bad though. Better than 900 kills in. So we can get any tier clue and I also got uh, some nice XP lamps from the quest and I got 20 mil prayer XP. Now if you're curious why I was using super restores, they're essentially the same price as prayer potions and depending on the day they might be cheaper than prayer potions. So I just went with super restores for this grind. Other than that we have the same setup that we did in the 100 whisperer loot video. Just full ancestral with the saying staff. And for the final phase I use the volatile nightmare staff because it has a really good spell 
special attack that can max an 81, and it really speeds up the last part of the kill. I've heard other people go with different setups here. Some people use the scepter, but I don't know. I just really like this setup, and I'm very comfortable with it, so that's what I was doing for the 1,000 kills. When I really got good at the Whisperer, I wouldn't even need food. Uh, at one point, I was just bringing a lot of super restores, three stamina potions, and of course, the saturated heart with the rune pouch. Inside that rune pouch, I would have ice barrage just uh, for a couple parts during the fight. You want to make sure you freeze the Whisperer so you don't take any damage. And that's really it. If you want like a more in-depth guide, feel free to check out Loot from 100 Whisperer. I did a uh, live kill for you guys in that video, but I figure since it's been out a while now, most people know how to kill it, and I don't really do, you know, guides all the time, so I just kind of do things my way. But either way, here we are finally getting some clue scrolls in the same inventory, receiving an easy and an elite clue. Got the two E's there, so we completed them right away. And we'll be opening up all the clue scroll caskets at the end of the video after the price check. And here we have a hard clue scroll with 700 steam runes. They're really not worth that much, but still a nice little 40k, so it'll all add up in the end. And the profit just keeps climbing. Look at that. Another ring drop. 350 kills into the video so far, and two rings to show for it. Now, this one did go down in price a little bit in the three days that it took from the first ring to the second, but nevertheless, we are going to use the chisel on the warrior ring, make that warrior ring icon, and then use all the other components in the furnace for the Bellator ring. And this one did sell for 139 mil, just about 20 mil less than the first ring, but this ring does vary in price, and for me personally, I wanted to sell everything right away so it didn't go down more, but it turns out the ring actually went up after I sold it, so I don't know how to feel about that, but I'll still take it. The profit is insane. Pretty strange drop here. Got a nice medium clue, but 24 bronze long swords to go with it. Uh, following that, though, we did get a hard clue with a nice 126 dragon javelin heads, and who put this cake here? Very strange, though, to see some uh, odd drops, to say the least, with the Whisper. For example, the bronze, mithril, and adamant long swords. Here we go again, recharging the saying staff. 25k bloods. I'd say the only other weird drop other than that is the raw monkfish, but you can actually get up to 1,050 of them if you have a perfect kill, which happened to me uh, multiple times during this video. There's that Awakener Orb. 3.7 mil is what it's shown there. Oh man, I wish I would have sold them for that much, but you know, I never knew that it was going to go down so much in price. I, I really thought that there wasn't enough Awakener Orbs for people, but I'm the last person to know about, you know, economics. Oh, moving Moving on from that, uh, here we are, 400 kills into the video, 24 bronze long swords for that last loot. I don't get it, but I'll take it. Other than that, we're just having a great time here. I really do have no complaints about this boss. Uh, I mean, I would change a few things, but very minimal things. For example, this drop here, the seven unnoted dragon plate skirts, I would just make them noted so that way I can stay here longer and, you know, not have to bank. Oh, uh, maybe I'm biased by saying that because this drop actually did get me killed because of misclicks. Look at that misclick. That could have happened to any one and it happened to me. Either way though, I didn't die too much at this boss, maybe like five times in a thousand kills, and that was just because of lack of sleep or my glasses were foggy. I mean, you can think of any excuse you want, really. But every death did cost 410k and a miserable run back. So keep that in mind. Try your very best here, not only for the loot, but just to save yourself some time. One drop in particular that really messed up my banking was uh, the food and potion drop, which you get, I think, anywhere from three to five unnoted manta rays and then one to two ancient and prayer potions and I just love picking up everything so this drop was a little you know annoying because I had a bank so much of it but it did add up in the end and speaking of adding up we can add another 27 mil to the price check because look at that beautiful purple glow oh my god what a great color the Virtus robe bottom a new collection log piece my very first ever time receiving a Virtus item I'm glad it wasn't the mask because that's 8 mil but if it would have been the top it would have been an extra 30 mil I think it's like 60 mil right now. That is incredible. I will take it. Now we have, what is that? 314 mil in ring drops and then the Virtus Robe bottom. Two rings, a pet. I mean, this is just incredible. Uh, 500 kills into the video so far and we are just thriving from here on out. 1400 soul runes, 357k from a perfect kill. I still think you can get like manta rays and potions from a perfect kill and even mithril longswords, uh, but I could be wrong about that. I just feel like I got so many
many uh, perfect kills that I really got a lot of variety in loot, even the bad items, so yeah, something to keep in mind. Either way though, another 25,000 blood runes added to the Sang staff. I wanted to record every time I did that just to keep track of how many blood runes I used on this 1,000 grind. I think it came out to 125,000 blood runes to uh, to be used here. And at 200 GP each, that's, that's you know, it's a decent amount of money, but again, the amount of money that you're going to make by using the Sang staff here is just incredible. And again, I don't know if that's best in slot staff. You might want to look around, see what strategy and what weapon works best for you. But again, this is just my setup and I'm sticking with it. I really enjoyed this setup. And there's another Awakener Orb drop. If you're curious how many hours this took to do, I would say I was averaging roughly uh, 15 or 18 kills an hour here. It really just depends. I mean, sometimes I'd have a really smooth kill. Other times it would be over a four minute kill. Just kind of depends on DPS. But in general, you know, 10 days is how long this took me. And I would say I was probably playing seven to eight hours a day uh, just at the Whisperer. I always see you guys commenting on my videos that, hey, I killed you in LMS. And yes, yes, of course, because I have been doing Last Man Standing like a crazy person, honestly, recently. So I do uh, invest a couple hours every day into that as well. Probably playing like 10 to 11 hours a day lately, but uh, I actually managed to watch House of Cards uh, season one to the very end of the show throughout this whole grind. So if you know how long that show lasts, you know, you can imagine how long this took, but uh, yeah, shout out to Kevin Spacey, not guilty. Also want to give a big shout out to Ironside. I just re-signed with them for the fifth year in a row. You guys are going to be hearing more about that in my next video, but otherwise we have 25k more bloods into the saying staff and really haven't uh, received a rare since that last Virtus drop, but we are getting a lot of Awakener orbs, which uh, as you can kind of see throughout this video start to finish, the price is going down, but it's going down slowly. You know, 200k a day, 300k a day. It's definitely not going down uh, so many mils. That's good. All right, 700 kills in and we got another Bellator drop. We are going to create this into the ring and sell it. We'll see how much it's selling for now after all these days later. I mean, you can imagine how big the smile was on my face because I already knew I had a huge platinum token stack in the bank from these rings, but now I just earned an additional 157 mil to that stack. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the bank for an astounding 471 mil just from the ring drops. And at this point, I realized this was the most profitable video I've ever done since 2016. This beat Corp. This beat Alchemical Hydra. This was everything. So I don't know if any other desert treasure 2 boss is going to top this video, but I, I sure hope so, you know, for sake of my bank value. But it's nice to have some GP, I'm not going to lie. Uh, this was a huge, huge bonus for me because one, you know, getting a great video out is one thing, but to receive all the profit that I got from this is just a whole nother thing. It's been a long time in the making. I did receive a few other Shadow Quartz drops, but again, they're not really worth that much. Uh, we are nearing the end here, 800 kills into the video. Again, we started at 100 102, so we are ending at a 1,102 kill count. Just receiving a lot of great drops because as you can kind of tell by this point, I had definitely perfected the boss and I was trying very hard every kill to make it a perfect kill so I could increase my profit. And I'd love to see anyone else's uh, loot tracker that shows a thousand kills. I actually had no way to track this video with the Rune Light loot tracker because it was so glitched almost the whole time, unfortunately. Well, for anyone who's dry on the Whisperer pet, I apologize. There is is the second pet in my name 926 kills and we've received two of them i think i got my first one on 99 kill count shout out to angry grandpa bringing me that luck rest in peace angry grandpa but otherwise we got another chromium drop got a couple of those throughout the video another 1400 souls one thing that i haven't mentioned yet is the axe piece there's another 25k bloods into the saying but yeah we did get the axe piece from the duke sakellis boss but we haven't gotten another axe piece from any other boss yet it was definitely lucky to receive a uh, axe piece from the Duke video because I only killed him a hundred times, but here we're 966 kills in with still no axe piece from the Whisperer. So I really hope I get that because I'll never have to come back here for it again and hopefully throughout the next Desert Treasure 2 boss videos I can complete the axe. But that's only going to be possible if we can somehow get it from the Whisperer and we are close towards the end here. So we might as well get it. Sa 
Siren Staff coming in, 886 kills into the video. We have now achieved our axe piece, so we don't have to come back here in search of it. We now have it. Two out of four pieces. We just need the one from Vardorvis, and then we just need one from Leviathan, and then we are done. That'll be a nice 300 mil, but I, I, I don't know if it'll be 300 mil by then. I mean, that axe used to be max cash, and, you know, now I think it's down to 300, so we'll see how the price fluctuates. But either way, I mean, what else can Jagex give? me, you know, multiple rings, more Awakener orbs than anything, two pets, uh, I just don't get it. And just when I think my luck can't possibly get any better, we got another ring right at the end here. We have about, I don't know, 55-ish kills left in the video, and we are blessed with a fourth ring. Keep on uh, visiting this furnace every few days here, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and create the ring, and we're gonna go ahead and sell this one for 154 mil. That is absolutely insane. We're gonna go ahead and make that in the platinum tokens put that in the bank to see 626 mil in platinum tokens just from the ring drops alone and following that we got uh almost back to back 10 dragon plate skirts which is just insane i mean i don't know how many times i've said that this video more monkfish and just all the loot you can imagine let me know in the comments section below how you guys feel about the whisperer do you find it challenging do you find it easy uh let me know what your favorite desert treasure 2 boss is and especially Especially, let me know if you've had any luck at any of them. I do read every comment, even though I almost respond to none of them. I always read them, so I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, loot from 1,000 of The Whisperer has been completed. The most profit ever seen in any of my videos. So let's go price check and then open up our clue scrolls. You know, while I do these voiceovers to prevent echo, I put a huge bed comforter over my head and with it being 102 degrees outside today. I am sweating up a storm, so let's go ahead and do this price check. First price check, all the normal drops, 71 million GP. Look at all those long swords, all those monkfish, all the gems uncut and cut, 205 prayer potions with the ancient potions and tons of manta rays, ores, and runes. I'll take that 71 mil. That is not bad at all. Now we're going to go ahead and price check the 64 dragon plate skirts, 31 awake orbs and five chromium drops this alone just in these three different items comes out to be a staggering 100 million gp and look at that pet standing next to me what a great pet but either way third price check 626 mil in platinum tokens just from the rings alone and a 30 mil vertus row bottom can't forget about that untradeable axe piece as well as all the quartz but the third price check 656 mil total loot 827 mil Collection log looking incredible. Just need uh, the Virtus items to complete it, which I'm definitely going to be obtaining probably in the next couple weeks. I would say I used around 100 to 150,000 blood runes, plus another 10 mil in super restores. So overall, 800 mil profit, I would say. Took about 10 days to complete, 80 mil a day if you look at it that way. And now we're going to open up these clues. I didn't receive too many of the clue scrolls, but we got two easies, three mediums, five hards, and two elites. Didn't really get too much from the clues to be honest with you not really much of a spoiler because i'm sure you guys are used to my clue scroll loot by now but it was another 1.5 mil i want to take this time to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for watching today's video thanks for sticking with me i know it took a long time to get uploaded but i hope it was worth the wait a huge thank you to the youtube channel members with a special shout out to my man matthew stivers deception z x exotic x and angel's blood i got a lot of great things coming for you guys soon and until next time thank you for everything. Mr. No Sleep, out.